Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn from Chodanubhav. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are continuing with the answer key of CBSE Class 10th Board Exam 2022-23 batch for French. Right, so here we are discussing the answer key of the exam that took place last month. Till now, we have completed section B and section D. In today's video, we will be doing half of section A and in the next video, we are going to do the half of section A only and then section C will be there. All my other videos based on the sample paper, not the sample paper, yeah, on the sample paper as well. All my other videos based on the CBSE sample paper for class 12th French and the official answer, the answer key for the official paper that took place of CBSE class 12th French. All those videos are present in a playlist and the link to that playlist has been provided in the description box below. <coughs> I guess that's sufficient for the intro. Now we can uh, begin with the discussion of the question. Right. So as you all are aware, for uh, section A, the pattern is 10 marker question for an for unseen passage and 10 marker for seen passage. Seen passage, that is from your book itself. Right. G. Moshe, volume 2, millennium edition. Right. So, we are discussing question number 1, A part, it's a scene passage. Lisez bien ce texte et répondez aux questions données ci-dessous. So, uh, read the text well and respond to the questions given below. Let's read. Ayons quitté le Jura. Monsieur Vincent va suivre vers Lyon la vallée de la Saône. So, having left the... Jura, the region of Jura, Mr. Vincent is going to follow towards Lyon, the valley of the Sound. Sound, right, uh, the river. Uh, so, son guide, il vient de lire, pays de l'Ivage, on y engraisse sur tous les volailles, les poulets de cette région sont très appréciés. So, in his itinerary, he just read, that it's the breeding country. Okay, Pays de Livage, breeding country. We have one grows above all the poultry. The chicken of this region is very appreciated. N'est-ce pas l'occasion de faire un bon repas? Isn't it the occasion to have a good meal? Justement, Mr. Vincent a, a grand appetit. It's just that Mr. Vincent has a big appetite. In this, con in this context, I would say it should mean a big hunger, okay, uh, because he's hungry. La voilà qui s'arrête dans une auberge de village, ayant pris place dans la salle qui chauffe un grand poêle. So, there he, he goes to where he stops, in a hostel of the village, uh, ayant pris place dans la salle, okay, having... Taken the place. I did not expect that, but okay. This marker saying tripped on my feet. Uh, anyways, I will hold like in this way. I didn't know. It's a new marker, so no issues. Next uh, location the fair, huh? I have read this. A young free plus dans la salle qui chauffe where heat sir. Big stove. Il réfléchit un instant quel plat va-t-il commander. So he thinks immediately or he thinks instantly which all dishes he, uh, he is going to order. Okay. Pouvez-vous me servir une omelette et demi poulet roti? Roti. Not roti. Roti is chapati. Roti. Uh, can you please serve me an, um, an omelette and a half toasted chicken? Uh, il me possible de vous faire une omelette, lui dit l'aubergiste. Les poules ne pondent pas en cette saison-ci. Il fait trop froid. Mais je vais vous servir un poulet dont vous me direz des nouvelles. So, uh, it is impossible for me to give you an omelette, to make you an omelette, because, said the aubergist, the hostel owner, because the chicken didn't lay eggs because of this season over there, which is very cold. Right, it's too cold, but I'm going to serve you uh, 
chicken of which you'll tell me the news maybe he's trying to say that you're going to like it okay so that's your text see in text we have already read this in your textbook right now we have a few questions based on it so question number one part a first part a part Reponde. Subjective questions. We have three. Après le jura, Monsieur Verso, comment va-t-il suivre la chama de Lyon? Now, the question means that uh, after jura, uh, Mr. Vincent, how is he going to follow the path of Lyon? Now, as for the text, we can uh, interpret that, okay, he's going to uh, pass to the uh, Valle de la Saône, right? Uh, I don't think the answer should include, like, he stayed, he ate. That's not a bit relevant to the question that is asked here, right? But one more thing can be added here. Like he, how did he go? He followed the path of Lyon. He followed it by car. Because we know in the chapter, uh, in the initial chapters, it's clearly mentioned that he is exploring the country by a car, right? Mr. Vincent. So I'm going to combine the two things in this answer. Okay. Let me know what did you write in the actual paper? According to my interpretation, this should be the answer what I am going to write here. Okay. So we have. Uh, il va suivre. La chama. De Lyon. En. What you would or traversal? Yeah. By crossing La Valle de la Sound. I think in the very same chapter only we have the this anecdote as well that he had a full bottle of Bourgogne and then he got drunk and he was facing some issues with the uh, while approaching to Lyon. Not sure whether this could be the answer or not because that's not the part of the text. This what to point I added extra because we already know about it. It's a scene passage. We can write extra. And Vali Dala song, uh, this much should be sufficient as per my understanding. Okay. Because I couldn't find any other suitable answer in the text, at least in the text given. Okay. Next we have Que désir de manger, Monsieur Vincent. What did Monsieur Vincent, Mr. Vincent, desire to eat? So, Monsieur Vasson désire manger, désire, désire à manger, or désire manger, désire manger should be fine, uh, désire manger, a une uh, omelette et Demi pulle roti. Yun omelet e half roasted chicken. Demi pulle roti. And oh, sorry, it's not. Oh, yeah, it's B part only. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's fine. B part, and then we have C part of the first part of question number one A. I know the numbering of the question is a bit uh, tricky, so I hope you have done it correctly in your paper. Uh, C part. Le registre est-il capable de servir une omelette? Pourquoi? He's not able to serve the omelette. Why? Because the chicken didn't lay eggs because of the cold season, right? So, no. Il n'est pas capable. The servir un omelette parce que un omelette parce que les poules ne pondent pas. Car il faisait froid because it was cold. That's all for the subjective questions. Now we have the objective type.
second, trouver dans le texte la contrainte des mots suivants. So we have two options. So first we are going to do second part, option A. Trouver dans le texte le contraire des mots suivants. Find in the text the opposite words of the following words. Okay. First one is rester. Rester is opposite. Rester, to stay. Right. Uh, rester is opposite would be what? Partir. Right. But I couldn't see partir over here. The closest alternative of party that I can see in this text is kite. Okay. Kite also means in this context to leave only. Right. So that's why for this I am going to write kite. Second we have, oh sorry, here we have third, right? So second. Second we have opposite of deteste. Now deteste could be, uh, opposite could be what? Aime, adore, right? But we don't have it here. The closest we can get is apprécier. Okay, so let's write apprécier here. After apprécier, next one is a cock. I checked it on net and the opposite of cock I got was chicken. Right. So cock uh, negative would be what? Un poulet. Right. <coughs> Fourth. Per. Per means less or little. Right. Uh, I would say two things are possible. One you can say two. And grand can also work, according to me. Okay, little, opposite, big. Or a few, opposite, too much, big. Yeah, this much is fine. <coughs> Otherwise, first, like, uh, opposite could have been boku, but it's not here, so we can't do anything. Like when in your question it's clearly mentioned through way dans la text, you need to search the word from the text only. Okay. You can't write anything apart from that. Let me just check real quick whether the recording is taking place fine or not. Yep, it's going on perfectly fine. That's great. Uh, right. So we have uh, all question B part. B part first. Il parle français trop rapidement. J'ai du mal à le dash. Okay. So he speaks French very fast. I have, I get a uh, headache. Dash. Now, a le, it could have been tet, but we have le, masculine singular, right? Couldn't be tet. That is feminine singular. So the closest again we can hear we can go is with and stop. Right. I get he uh, had uh, this uh, pain immediately. Okay. So let's go for and stop in the first one. Not the best option because it's sounding a bit different but suitable for this. Second we have on a visite yun pe bel dash. Now we, uh, we visited a very beautiful dash. Any place which is feminine singular will work in this answer. Okay, you can write région, you can write auberge, you can even write valley. Third, we have bondage. J'espère que vous allez aimer ce plat. Dash. Have a good meal. Bon appétit. I hope you like the dish, uh, dish, right? So, bon appétit. Fourth, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dash un bon repas, s'il vous plaît? Can you dash a good meal, please? Can you make us a good meal? Right, so, fair. Fourth one, in the blank, we have fair. What was it? Complete avec un mot, des mots du texte. Complete with a word or some words from the text. 
For this, if you have written any other answer, do let me know because according to me, Einstein is fine. Uh, third one, it's the last uh, question of this thing. I hope so. Yeah. Donne la forme nominale des verbes suivants. Now, here we don't have two-way dollar text. No. It's simply give the noun form of the verbs given. Verbs we have in infinitive, right? So, first one is arete. Arete means to stop. Noun form is what? Stop. So, it is are. Okay. Uh, B part. Appreciate. Appreciate to appreciate. Noun form, appreciation. In French, appreciation. part we have servir. Servir we can write three things. Service, server, servers. Any of the one will work. So I am going to write for server. Masculine singular. Right. Servers will also work. Service will also work. And the last one we have chauffe. Chauffe means to heat. Right. Uh, noun form. Réchauffe mot. Very common term, we have used it a lot in class 10 as well. Réchauffement climatique, global warming, right? Réchauffement de la planète. With this, we complete the scene passage portion of section A, CBSD class 12, board exam 2022-23, French. One last thing before ending this video, the credit for this question paper, of course, goes to CBSC. It's just that I am discussing the answer key here based on my interpretation. Okay? So, yeah. With this, let's put the halt here. Say, Tupu, don't you do it? That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Learn French or Don't Love. And if you have any doubt or suggestion, may write that in the comment section below. You may also like my Facebook page by the same name, Learn French or Don't Love. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Go the voir, n'oubliez pas, car l'on français de l'amour.